Hi guys, I'm just going to show you what I've done on the time lapse um, and how I obviously sliced, found it, sliced it, etc. So I went on to Thingiverse and I had a look at um, support free models to print and I came across this nice two headed snake. So I decided it was pretty cool, I think it would be pretty cool to download um, and print. So I went ahead and done that, opened it up in Prusa Slicer. Uh, you can use any slicer, it's your preference, there's Sim Simplify 3D I think, there's Cura, um, it's up to you. So as you can see the model has come pretty small. So I upped it to 700 uh, just to make it a lot bigger and obviously you can see more detail in there for the print and obviously once it's finished it's going to look pretty awesome and on the Octolapse as well, uh, it's going to look pretty cool. So. Um, add a little look around it to see what's what and then you can go ahead and slice it once you've double checked all your settings are correct so I went ahead and skipped the slicing process because that does take quite a while um, as you can see a print that takes one day and 17 hours it's probably going to take about 10 minutes maybe to go through so as you can see I'm just showing you through the layers that you will see on the Octolapse and then yeah you go ahead um, you can download it name the print whatever you want just something to remind you what it is so um, in the future you have it saved you don't have to find it or re-slice it etc which is pretty cool so go ahead and save that and you can close down open up Safari um, using a MacBook, go on to Octo Local. Obviously, you'll have your Raspberry Pi set up already and connected to your Prusa or printer. You can go ahead and upload that, so whatever you saved your file under. Uh, once you've uploaded it, you can then continue to print. As you can see, I've already done that, so there's no need for me to go ahead. So I hope you guys enjoy, and here we go.